Dell's new Precision 15 5000 corporate laptop takes an important cue from its cousin, the XTS 13. Dell laptop Dell's new Precision 15 5000 series is pretty much what the XTS 15 will be. Gordon Madden Gordon Madden Vertical Line and Gordon Hong Executive Editor PC World October 1, 2015 5 o'clock a.m. Dell's new Precision 15 5000 corporate laptop takes an important cue from its cousin, the XTS 13. Arguably the best consumer laptop of the year. The XTS 13 crammed a 13-inch screen into a laptop no bigger than one that packed 11-inch panels. Dell does the same trick with its new Precision 15 5000, shoehorning a 15-inch panel into a surprisingly small laptop. At first glance, you'd think it was an XTS 13, just scaled up a bit. The Precision 15 5000 features an infinity display that lets Dell shrink the size of the laptop up to 17% over its direct predecessor with the same size panel. Two panels are available. Both are wide viewing angle models, which is code language for IPS like Sharp doesn't like it when you call anything other than its own panels IPS. Even if the technology is the same. The lower resolution screen is a 1920x1080 panel with a 72% color gamut. The higher end of the spectrum nets you a UHD 4K panel 3840x2140 with 100% Adobe color gamma and 10 point touch. Why this matters? Dell's proven its laptop metal. And it's clearly sharing its best ideas across product lines. I believe this is as close as we'll get to a preview of the upcoming XTS 15, which is also expected to get the Infinity Bezel treatment. Skylake and Exeon CPU options Despite being fairly thin, the new laptop will support 45 Watt Intel CPUs including the Core i7-6820HQ. The Core i5-6300HQ or the Exeon E3-1505M V5, plus another unnamed Exeon model. All of the CPUs will be based on Intel's latest Skylake family. They'll bring DDR4 memory to the table, as well as Thunderbolt 3 through a USB-C port. The Exeon offerings will support ECC DDR4 for those who are simply anal about their memory errors. DSC 0278 Gordon Madden The new Precision 15 5000 on the right next an older Precision M3800 also with a 15.6 inch screen. Note the lack of a bezel on the new model. For graphics, the laptop will feature either a Quadro M1000M or Intel Pro Graphics 530 and P530 graphics. Storage also is fairly PC, with full support for NVMe M.2 SSDs up to 1 TB in size, as well as a second 7mm, 2.5 inch hard drive up to 1 TB in size. For those who opt for just the M.2 drive, the 2.5-inch battery bay can be put to work with additional batteries, which will increase the gas tank capacity from 56 WHR to 84 WHR. DSC 0272 The Precision 15 5000 uses the Microsoft Precision Trackpad. Also new is the inclusion of a Microsoft Precision Trackpad that should offer more well precision. In a move I welcome, a larger keyboard over the XTS 13. Finally, Dell said the new Precision will also be supported by its Dell Precision Optimizer and Reliable Memory Technology. Dell Precision Optimizer tunes the laptop's performance for the professional, certified it's it's running. For example, if an APT is mostly single-threaded, the laptop could switch off hyper-threading in real-time and boost the clock speed of the CPU. 
RMD lets the laptop detect and map out bad sections of main memory. DSC 0270 to Gordon Madden The Precision 15 5000 is about 6% thinner than its predecessor with the same size screen. Other precisions get a buff. 2 The Precision 15 5000 isn't the only new laptop. Dell has also announced the new, thinner, faster Precision 15 3000. It doesn't get the treatment the 5000 series dish but the company said it's 12% lighter and 26% thinner, with a CPU that's 20% faster. Dell has actually changed its lineup nomenclature, with the 3000 series at the bottom, the 5000 series in the middle and the 7000 series at the top. It's a nomenclature that's worked well for Intel with its Core i3. Core i5 and Core i7 and was originally borrowed from BMW. The Precision 17 7000 will deliver beastly power PR 7510 TLMB 00045LF110 Dell The new Dell Precision 17 7000 doesn't have the lines of the new 5000 series but it packs a lot of firepower. The Dell Precision 17 7000 will offer quad-core Core i7 and Core i5 CPUs. It will also take advantage of Intel's push to get Xeon CPUs into laptops, with no fewer than 4 Xeon models available including 2 models with 16 megabytes of cache. With a larger footprint and thicker body, the Precision 17 7000 will run up to 4 so DIMM slots for up to 64 GB of ECC DDR4 RAM. Besides offering standard JDEC speed DDR4 flash 2133 modules, the company will also offer laptops with overclocked DDR4 flash 2667 modules too. The graphics menu will offer NVIDIA Quadro M3000M through Quadro M50000M GPUs, as well as AMD Fire Pro W7170M and W517M GPUs. Like the Precision 15 5000, you can choose between a 1920x1080 IPS like panel with a 72% color gamut for a 17.3-inch UHD 4K display with 100% Adobe Color Gamma support. In storage you can have it all, including 2 meters dot to PCI NVMe SSDs plus a 9.5 mm hard drive for up to 2 TB. That means a top 10 out Precision 17 7000 can pack as much as 4 TB of combined storage. Battery options range from 72 WHR to 91 WHR capacity and Thunderbolt 3 will be available by January. Like the other Precision laptops, it will also support Dell RMT and Precision Optimizer. The new laptops are expected to be available later this month. Dell Inspiron 13 7000 Special Edition, it's a great laptop. But not a true 2-in-1 sure. There's a 360-degree hinge, but 3.7 pounds is hefty for a tablet. Inspiron 13 7000 Southeast for Dell's Inspiron 13 7000 Special Edition is good-looking, fast, and with the exception of a touchpad that seems overly sensitive to taps, has very nice ergonomics. John L. Jacoby John L. Jacoby Freelance Writer PC World September 24, 2015 3.30 a.m. Dell's Inspiron 13 7000 Series Special Edition Model 7350 a product exclusive to Dell's website and Best Buy is a seemingly mainstream machine with one special feature, a 360-degree rotating display that makes laptop a mini all-in-one, or a small tabletop computer. It's a nice trick, but it can't distract us from the hard facts that the special edition weighs 3.7 pounds and is saddled with a non-removable keyboard.
Dell may call it a two-in-one, but it's a heavy and unwieldy example. Aside from the ill-fitting designation, the Inspiron 13 7000 Special Edition has a lot going for it. Its brushed chrome and gray shell is handsome, with just the right amount of ornamentation for my tastes. It sports a spread layout, backlit, chiclet-style keyboard that types well despite being short throw. It's sturdily built, and it's a very good performer. Inspiron 13 7000 Southeast to the Dell Inspiron 13 7000 with its display rotated to 270 and 360 degrees for use on a desk or table. Performance given the Core i7 5500U, 8 GB of DDR3 1333 RAM and 256 GB Samsung PM 851 M.0 SATA SSD on board. The strong performance is no surprise. The special edition garnered a PC Mark Creative Conventional score of 2,352 and a work score of 2,845, transcoded at 30 GB. 1080p dot mkv file in 2 hours and 5 minutes, and played the same, high bitrate dot mkv file constantly for 5 hours and 5 minutes before the battery ran dry. The integrated Intel HD graphics 5500 suffice for light web gaming and the like. The discrete GPU is required for anything more intense but that isn't an option on the Inspiron 13 7000 series. The display is a 14-inch, 1920x1080 touch screen with good viewing angles and plenty of usable brightness. Movies look great on it. There's a fair amount of glare, but that's life in the touch screen lane. The audio is also decent, considering that there's no direct path by e speaker grill openings for the sound to reach your ears. The Max Audio Pro enhancement software found buried in the Dell Audio Control Panel applet, in a bit of branding nonsense helps quite a bit. Hint, the movies and music settings offer more clarity than the somewhat muddy MaxSense preset that is the applet's default. Dell Inspiron 13 7000 Southeast Handbrake 0.9.9 The Core i7 5500U offers top-notch performance, price, ports, maintenance. The Special Edition Model 7350 costs $999, which is reasonable given the components. Lower-end builds start for as little as $500 if you're willing to settle for a Core i3 4030U, 4GB of system memory, the 500GB hard drive, and the 1366x768 display. There are small differences in the chassis. The regular model lacks the silver trim and beveled edges of the special edition. You won't find bleeding edge USB-C slash 3.1 or display port on the special edition, but there are two USB 3.0 ports one charging one USB 2.0 port for peripherals, a full-size HDMI port, and an SD card slot, as well as 802.11 AC and Bluetooth 4.0. The webcam is 720p. The Inspiron 13 7000 series is especially easy to maintain and upgrade. Remove 10 like-sized screws from the bottom of the unit, pry off the lower part of the shell, and the major components battery, hard drive, memory and more are all laid out in front of you. Gone are the bad old days of layers of multiple daughter boards and shields to dig through, and varied size screws. At least with Dell. Nice. Since Iron 13 7000 Southeast won the Dell Inspiron 13 7000 Special Edition in laptop and AIO orientations. Almost perfect two things about the Special Edition annoyed me. The touchpad was especially sensitive to taps so much so that I disabled the feature. 
Some might like the heightened level of sensitivity but not me. The Inspiron 13, like other two-in-one designs, moves the power button to the side and makes it as tiny as can be. Time of the belief that power buttons should be obvious, large, and situated on the keyboard deck.